we're live. Good evening and good evening, Anna. So good, good evening. evening, everyone. Hello, how are you, Anna? I'm great. How are you this evening? I'm good. Thank you. I really appreciate that you are here. Thank so, you so much for inviting me. And it's funny because welcome. we're actually saying good evening. We're both in the same time zone because we, like we said, this business is all over the world. But today we happen to be, I think, exactly at the same time. <laughs> exactly, exactly at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I am so happy that you're here with me tonight. So everyone, we are here live again for another business, real story with real people all over the world. And today I am with Anna from Sweden. Anna is a, a Swedish and at the same time American, but he's born, she's born in Sweden and she's a mom. So today she is going to share his story. But before that, we would like to introduce herself. My name is Michelle and I am currently living here in Spain for almost 13 years or more than 13 years. I'm not sure I always say that almost 13 years, but it's already done 13 years. So, <laughs> so um, I'm doing this business more than a year now, and I'm enjoying every journey, as you can see in my page. And to those who are uh, my new followers, welcome to my page. And with other page, I think it's not doing the cross posting, but we love that to appreciate to all of you. So, by the way, I would like to give the chance to Anna to introduce herself. Anna? Okay, great. So just a little bit of background um, in terms of my personal history. So like you mentioned, I'm a dual citizen, Swedish American, born and raised in Sweden. Um, I decided early on that I wanted a career in hospitality because I wanted to travel. So that first took me to Switzerland and then I ended up in the States after that. And I spent 20 years in the States. I thought I was going for an 18 month um, internship and it ended up being almost 18 years since then. Um, I love hospitality. I'm still in that profession as my second career apart from this online digital business journey. And in the States, I met my husband. We had our two children. Um, didn't really know that we were going to come back to Sweden, but sometimes things just kind of happen, different circumstances. One was that we had a second child and I felt like I wanted to be closer to my family here in Sweden for that and give them the opportunity to share uh, when she grew up. And um, uh, also that you realize that your parents and uh, family members are getting older and when you're so far away, you don't get to see people. So one thing led to the other, and in 2018, we landed in Sweden, and obviously that's where I had to start over, find a new way to support the family, since I'm the only one that speaks Swedish, so that kind of fell on me. My husband has tried, but it's not an easy language to learn. Um, so I went out there and started looking for different ways to do that. And that's kind of how I ended up in the online space. So I would say that that's a little bit of background. So my, my two beautiful daughters are now seven and 13, and they're also one of the biggest reasons why I've chosen to, to create um, an online business and create a better future for our family long term. Yeah, that gives you a little bit of background. Wow, wow. Um, actually, everyone, this is the first time that I meet Anna, and this is the first time I talked to her. And saying that, I was so inspired with a mom like Anna, because, you know, if you are a mother and you are doing a full-time job and you are doing your, your, your business, that's a lot of job. So we wanted to know from you on why you decide to have an online business. Yeah, so I came to our online business in two stages and it started out then in 2018 when I was reinventing myself and looking to see um, what this new chapter was going to contain. So I started a job at a hotel, which I still have, but I realized um, the hospitality industry is internationally not very well paid. So I could see that this wasn't going to create the future that I wanted us to have long term. So I also looked for other options. And this is where a friend actually is still back in the US introduced me to my first online business. 
And mm -hmm. I fell in love with working online. I gained experience as a business coach and really enjoyed parts of it. Um, but as I went along, I started feeling like I wanted to be a business owner. I didn't want to feel like I had bought myself a job where I needed mm -hmm. to be at a certain place at a certain time and do things at a certain time. I wanted to have freedom. So this online business, you had to be on the phone for several hours every day in order to move your business forward. And you had to be on training calls almost every day of the week, which also felt like being in meetings at a job. Yeah. So eventually I just felt like, no, it's, it's not the right fit. So I had created results, but it didn't feel like I was happy in it. So I ended up pulling the plug on that one. Enters another friend at this time in Sweden, um, and I had just noticed when I had seen her for coffee dates and things that she seemed like happier and more relaxed and having less stress. And she had twin boys and she also works um, in the school system. So she had a lot on her plate, but I just realized that something had changed with her. So I went digging a little bit and, and uh, she shared that she had started something new and we didn't talk that much about it, but I started feeling like she seems like something is changing and I wanted to know what that was. So I asked her straight out and she told me about this business and she followed the way that we do. Like we don't sell and try to convince and push it on people. We just share the information, allow people to educate themselves and see if it's the right fit for them. Um, so I got the information that I needed to see what our business is about. And I just fell in love because there were so many pieces that I had missed in the previous business that was here. And I'm sure we'll talk more about that as well. But that's when I started this business and um, I've loved every day since. Um, and I haven't looked back. Wow. Wow. That's that's why you started the online and thanks to mm -hmm. your friend. So, yeah. but before you started that, do you have any uh, pain or struggle when you started this online business before starting the online business i know that we have uh for me i have that reason why before i started the online business because i'm looking for something different that i need to cook up the two things that i want to stay home i want to care my husband and this besides i want to support my family but i cannot make it if i don't have a job right i don't have anything mm -hmm. that i need to do at home so that's my reason why my pain and struggle were before that. And then later on, I, I just looking that what what if there is something online that I can do from home? That's why mm -hmm. I bought this business. How about yeah. you? Yeah, and for me it was the same. Like when uh, when I we started developing our life here, and we're then an one income family. I'm the only one working. Obviously, you recognize that that paycheck doesn't last very long, and you basically end up living paycheck to paycheck. So. The pain was the realization that if I want to change this, something has to change. So I had mm -hmm. to look for other ways. And and um, our business opportunity is so amazing in the long term financial freedom situation that you can create for yourself uh, that ends up being um, something that really turns into a passive way of earning money instead of working something as a job. Of course, you as any business, you have to start out, you have to learn, you have to build, it mm -hmm. doesn't happen overnight. Um, but the potential that I see long term and that I see people creating around me is so inspiring. So my pain point is not so much um, about how I was feeling about life in general, because I'm one of those lucky ones that actually really love my job in hospitality. But I felt like I wanted something to supplement that and something that I could see would create a bigger picture for us, a better life long term. Because my mm -hmm. job is something that I just enjoy doing, but it's not growing into something else versus this is this you can basically the sky is the limit you can take it as far as you're willing yes. to invest your time and effort and um, and um, how far you're willing to go with it yes wow yes you're right the sky is the limit as long as you are going to pursue what you wanted to right and make it happen so you mentioned before that you are a mom right you have 13 year old and you have also two babies to care and you have working 
So how did you balance your time within your family work and online business? Well, this for me has been one of the biggest gifts. And this is where it comes into that our business model is so different than my previous online business. You can really work this business anytime. If I wanted to, I could wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and work the business. Um, The first thing is that it's run, the system is run on automation. So it kind of, when you're at work, when you're with your family, whatever you're doing, the business keeps running in the background. But it's also that the the functions that you do need to do, you can do them whenever. Um, I love the fact that this business focuses very highly on personal development. And that made me come across some books and and some, some things that have to do with creating a better way of running your days, running your yeah. life. So I never thought that I would be someone that works up, wakes up at 5 a.m. in the morning. But all of a sudden, <laughs> here I am, like waking up at 5, I'm writing gratitude journal, I'm meditating, I'm reading a, the self-development book. And then I do my business before I even head out the door. So that means that I can I can schedule that pocket both to do something that betters myself to make me feel better um, personally and get my business done. And when I come home, I might do a little bit of business in the evening. But for the most part, I have the evening to spend with my family, which is really the reason that I want to have a business to begin with, to create more quality time with them. So so as a mom, I feel I don't believe in sacrifice, the word sacrificing, because it feels like somebody has to pay um, for something when you do that. I don't want my kids to be paying for me wanting to have a business. So this allows me to do it when it doesn't really affect them and still allowing me to be present for them when they're home, when they're around. There might be one evening in the week where I'm attending a meeting, but it's not every night and I don't have to sit and and call people cold calling for two hours to try to connect with someone to create something. Um, So it really allows as a mom for that wonderful sense of flexibility and choice of when you work. Uh, which is the the biggest gift ever, I think. Yeah, you're right. I love the the I love it. This business about flexibility, and for no bugging friends and family. That's why I love this business because, like you, I have also background of uh, traditional business before, and you know mm-hmm. when you have the traditional business, you need to invite friends come over to your shop. You you need you know, but you. It's not that in this business. It isn't. You cannot do that thing. And everything here is personal growth. It's up to you and how you make it happen on how you do your work, on how you can schedule your time. And you, as a mom, you have time more to spend your family. And me, I have more time to spend here with my husband. And before, I don't, I just like um, my mom back to my country, he always complained me. You don't have time for us to talk about in the phone. But now, every time they are call, I'm just running, I don't know how many hours, maybe three hours, two hours. We just not wasted that time, right? We just <laughs> feel that um, we spend more time together and, and, and more love together. And, and they know that I care with them. So while I was like you, um, I love with this business is making friends of all over the world with the people that I never met before, like you, Anna. And, and mm-hmm. you know, I, I have something in my mind that I don't, something that you are feeling really good, right? That you're living here virtually, you meet a very nice people and amazing people. And they have that mindset that keeps you inspired and motivating. And sometimes we are resonate with this belief which is the same happened to you. And, you know, you can open that mind. You have that mind and power to open that. Wow, it is possible. Because the sky is only the limit if you are truly, truly doing your dreams. Right? You're not only dreaming, but you're the doer of your dream in this business. And that's the power of this business. So since you started this business, uh, what was your uh, biggest result or change? I would say um, just becoming a part of this global 
family and community, which is very different from my from the way that I experienced my last online business. It felt like when you were in meetings there that you were being talked to and there wasn't really a sharing and and uh, contributing and back and forth and masterminding. Um, but the way that our business model is created that you don't need any previous experience or background because the training is all there for you and um, the uh, uh, you are your own business owner, but you're never alone. You have, you know, our founders that connect with the uh, business community on a weekly basis, which I think is just amazing for people at the top to be so involved on a regular basis. Then you have the entire global business community that inspires each other, which is not uh, now more than 140,000 strong. And then the team, kind of the tribe that we've, we, we find uh, within the business that we work with more closely, to me, this is the biggest thing because here it feels like it's real friends, it's real connections. When we have our meetings, um, there's not just one person talking and everybody kind of looking up to and, and uh, flattering that person. It's a real exchange and it's about learning things from each other and, and sharing ideas. And, and it's so generous in terms of um, people are not out for themselves in this business. Um, just the fact that we are both here sharing at the same time, um, you know, both having the benefit of talking about our businesses but it's not about who it benefits most it's just that we have the opportunity to share this to as many people as possible for them to discover it so the business community and the way that i feel it creates this to be a fun journey and i believe that if you're going to stick with something and create results you have to have fun while you do it because otherwise you're not going to stick with it um, so, I mean, those are my biggest things, like having the flexibility that this business has allowed me has just been amazing that you can do so little and still produce results in terms of the extra income and your team is amazing. And just this, um, unlimited support at all levels. It just feels very different. I feel like it's one of a kind. I haven't seen anything else out there like it. And it's something that I really appreciate. Wow. You're right. You're amazing. I totally agree. This mm -hmm. is an amazing community and I really love that everyone cares and share the idea so i'm sure this live we have that purpose we do it in purpose just to spread this to the people that some of them they are looking for new opportunity or looking for something different that they can work from home do you have any um advice to them yeah, a couple of things. I think one thing is that um, you have to recognize whenever you start something new, there's always going to be an element of skepticism and fear there. Sometimes people misinterpret that as meaning that you're doing something wrong. Um, that's not at all the case. I believe that whenever you start something new and you're getting ready to leave your comfort zone, your comfort zone tries to pull you back. But if nothing changes, nothing changes. So if you're someone that's looking for change, you have to be willing to open yourself up, be willing to receive the information. With us, it's so risk-free because really all you have to do um, is register for our 90 minutes um, webinar that we have twice per week. So you can either attend it live or you can you can attend a recorded version if it doesn't fit your schedule. So that's very practical. And that gives you all the information without investing any money to find out if this is something that feels like a good fit for you. Um, it's given by people in the business uh, that, you know, that walk their talk about what their journey has been. So you get to know even more. Um, so basically what you do, you see our websites here on the screen, you basically just go and you register with your name and your email address and you'll get all the information to attend the webinar sent to you. All you have to lose is 90 minutes, it doesn't cost you anything and this could be something that changes your life for the better long term. Um, yeah, so just recognize that not all online businesses are created equal. If you're going to start one, uh, choose the right one. And for me, there is no doubt in my mind that this is a business that anyone can thrive in as long as they're open and willing to learn and to be coachable and enjoy the journey. 
Wow, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I, I can't say anything, but Anna said it all. So I hope that's a big, big help for everyone that's looking for new, for something new out there. So thank you so much, Anna. And I really appreciate you that you are here with me in my page today. And thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you for much, uh, so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. And uh, uh, good morning, good day, good evening to everybody out there. And uh, go and register for the webinar. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Anna.